Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Land. Please slay the Spire. Bad, decent, uh, stellar, like an Incubus song from 1999. You know what? What do you think Brandon Incubus means in that song when he says, um, "You know, meet me in outer space. I will hold you close if you're afraid of things. I need you to see this place." It might be the only way that I can show... Uh, this is going somewhere. That I can show you how it feels. And then he goes, To be inside you. How do you do it? What a strange... It's like an astronaut trying to pick up his own wife at a bar. Go through the lyrics step by step. It doesn't make sense to me. Here, good luck, torches. Get extinguished. Thank you. We're doing a dark run today. Get out of here. Get it. There you go. Okay. The, the, the Slay the Spire videos, they tend not to be that long. You know, they're only 40 to 80 minutes each. So why not add a little, like, 90 second bumper rate right to the start of doing nothing? Transform a card. <sighs> this is a tough one. Tame two random... Colorless, you know what? I'm going for two random colorless cards unless it is conceivable that we could get to this elite with um, one HP from our first three enemies. It would require you and you to not be combat. We'll keep an eye on that, but I'm gonna get a, tur uh, a curse, two random colorless cards. Our curse is regret. Hopefully, we can discard that. Um, actually, we have an early shop, so we can get rid of it pretty quickly. And we drew Dark Shackles. Which we probably actually did not need to play there. But it is what it is. Dark Shackles and Flash of Steel. I think Flash of Steel is like a 10 out of 10 colorless card. Now that I'm learning a little bit more how to evaluate cards, I'm like, dude, 3 damage plus draw that replaces itself. How could you be negative about that, right? Make me feel like you do. We're about to take two damage here. Yeah, we might as well play it anyway, but... Oh, we, we took two damage directly. It, in the end there, it didn't make a difference. It was a little surprising, though. We're just trying to... You know, we're in a war of attrition with this guy right here. I gotta choose my right moment to strike. The right moment is now. Wasn't too bad. So, generally... um. Against the fourth floor boss, as the silent, we're gonna need block. We don't necessarily have anything that works well with blade dance, piercing whale, you know, infinite blades. Um, as of right now. But our starting deck is pretty bad. I just don't want to commit to a shiv archetype necessarily, right? Um, so I think I'm gonna take nothing. But it pains me to do so. I will pay 50 gold and remove our curse. Then if we wanted to, we could not go to the shop. But I think that's foolhardy. I would love to get shuriken. There's no way we could have afforded it in the best of times, though. So now we look here. And uh, with 62 gold, we really only have the option to purchase a potion. Or possibly deadly poison. You know, I'm willing to give it a try. We might as well do it like... We have to kill you. I'm gonna take two damage here, I think. Maybe three? Just two. That's not bad. Um, I, I'm unconvinced. I think we'll do it like this. We don't need to play Dark Shackles here. I'm unconvinced by the, uh, the idea of doing a poison deck. But I do think that there is a, a world in which it works well for us. Deadly Poison, Poison Stab, Catalyst. Um, the obvious other enabler is uh, Corpse Explosion, Poison Relics, Noxious Fumes, and a lot of block. I think there's something to it. Sure, I will take Crippling Cloud. I don't think it's necessarily incredible. Pull a basic strike out of the deck for a fairly limited amount of HP. 
Hmm, this is a bummer. They're healing for three every turn. Why is it a bummer? Well, I mean, do we even want to play Deadly Poison in this situation? Probably. Yeah, we probably still do. Fair enough. <laughs> um, I mean, I'm going to let you hit me. I think I'm going to let you hit me for nine to start getting in there. This is going to be a painful fight. We may want to rest instead of going for the, the key early. This is a key we're going to get right off the bat to begin with. Okay, so now we can actually purge some of the negatives here, which is awesome. We're definitely going to play Crippling Cloud. And then, six, yeah, we'll, we'll play this. So we're not actually taking that much damage on turn two, but none of these guys are, um, are really close to death at all. The poison is just compensating for their healer, their regeneration right now. Um... These guys are going to attack next turn, obviously, so let's extend the Neutralize, and then we're just going to do it like that. We take one damage. Realistically, this is a really good time to pop our Explosion Potion. Something like this. And I actually think we'll take one damage just to purge both Dazes from our deck and keep us at neutral as far as that goes. So I'm hoping that we're relatively close to stabilization. If we're at 48 HP, we could probably afford to get the key early. Well, never mind. I don't know what the odds are at that point of drawing five days in a single turn. I guess it's 50%. Either you do it or you don't, right? That's a joke. Point Dexter. Yeah, we'll get rid of one here. It's okay, we're purging, well, we're not purging, but we're preventing two dazes from getting into our deck one way or the other. At this point, we would probably like to rest, but I don't know, we'll see how it goes. The idea with the poison, by the way, is that, you know, if, if the deck becomes, let, let me give you a thought experiment. If we start to purge the basic um, strikes from our deck and keep it thin enough that we're drawing poison, you know, reasonably frequently... The poison starts to tick up real high, you know? Bird-faced urn is actually pretty nice for at least some sort of sustain. I feel like I do need backstab. <laughs> but I always feel like I need backstab. What I'm actually going to do is take an alchemize it and try to upgrade it ASAP. Um, yeah, we need to rest, unfortunately. I'm looking at the rest of the floor here and I'm like, it's a wise idea. By the way, I think we could have had that uh, B1 HP. That elite. Free gold, I like it. Especially if we can get those extra relics. Ma Bank. Um, I think Ma Bank is good, but I think we'd rather have the Sapphire Key just because we weren't able to get the early one. It would just feel nice to be like a little bit ahead of it. Anyway, the thought experiment I was talking about is the more poison cards we have in the deck, you know, we stop having. This is fine. We stop doing five poison per turn and then it ticks down you know if we can get like two deadly poisons in a row we realistically reduce the time to kill on an enemy by i mean i would expect to reduce it by a turn or two depending on the strength of the enemy to begin with honestly as screwed up as it sounds i think i just don't want to take any damage here And we're just slowly taking you to the point where we can one-tap you. And really, that's next turn. So we're, we're looking real good here. Please draw Alchemize. Okay. Well. Also fine. I think we will take Footwork. It heals for two. It makes our blocks better. I like this card. It works with Bird Face Darn and it's good to begin with. So it's, it's tough to say no. So we'll take Footwork early. Two heals. Neutralize takes you down to roughly two blocks worth of damage. Um, we'll end up taking two damage in the process. I don't want to play Alchemize yet. I want to get you started. 12 damage. Still bad. Um, I don't know about this deck so far. But it is... I, I feel like... Uh, your deck tends to thicken as the silent a little faster than it does as other characters. Okay, very nice. Um, just because you, the starting deck is like impotent from an offensive standpoint. So, 
You, you tend to try to add stuff. And here I think we don't need anything. Just to get it... I swear to God, we've gotten that 25% roll like three times in a row. Um, hold on. I'm, I'm losing my train of thought ten different times here because of the way that this is going. Um, give me escape plan. We should have played footwork first, I suppose. We're gonna get there anyway. And you know what? Give me a, give me an alchemize. Fair enough. So we can get a little bit stronger next turn. We'd really like a crippling cloud on this turn to get rid of the artifacts. We got there. Um, so we'll do this. We're gonna still play our block potion, probably. Oh, definitely. It's actually basically perfect. As perfect as it could be. And remember, we are going to get a relic for going through with this, but... It's still a pain in the butt. Wow, this is so much easier... When you don't have them healing for three every turn. Mind you, we still have the dazes coming. So you are already dead. Start working... Yeah, realistically, we're not going to be able to kill... The middle guy on the next turn, so we'll do it this way. We did allow one days to stay in our deck. I'm unhappy about that, and we're going to take damage as a result. Nine damage is not necessarily uh, rest-worthy. What a turn. This guy's still... He's, he's under the gun. You, you hate to see it. Honestly, at this point, just make sure we have no dazes. Sticking around in our deck. This guy will not defeat us as long as that's the case. Or if we're trading two days for two days. Right now we have five days in the deck. I can't believe we're going to get hit for another two. These guys have a way of making you hate your deck. I'm not trying to get too negative about it so far, you know? I have faith that everything's going okay. Normally, I mean, this is a, it's a question mark. We could actually fight three elites on this floor if we wanted to. I don't want to, but if the mood strikes, maybe. And by the way, very unhappy to see uh, Art of War, but there might come a time where it works for us. I don't know. We, we have, like, basically no good attacks, but I don't want to add any of these because they're not poison-related. I'm worried we, we thin out the theme too early. Regal Pillow is quite nice. You know what? Let's go for it, dude. <clears throat> How do we want to do this early? Footwork, of course. Don't strike him. We basically, we want to open with a deadly poison. He's going to wake up, but at least he's going to start weak. We want to get, the poison's got to go fast. And the only reason I'm doing this, it'll sound wild probably, but I'm doing it because of uh, Regal Pillow. We're going to take damage here, but the rest from Regal Pillow plus, you know, the normal amount, I think, is is A-OK. -okay. We can afford to be slightly more conservative here because we it, expect to draw poison. Classic mistake. Everything's still going OK. Neutralize is showing up, like, at exactly the right time. And we're taking one damage. Not bad. Didn't draw Neutralize again, but okay, hear me out here. We're taking three damage, and he's, we got two turns in which to kill him. And the poison is going to run a gamut on him. He's done. Very good fight. I'm glad we we nutted up here. Forgive the crass verbiage. Um, Mummified Hand. Extremely nice power synergy. Footwork is an amazing card now. Do we want Tools of the Trade now? Why not? Heals us for two, makes us stronger in the future. And, I mean, this is going to sound crazy. Uh, but I'm going to recall here. I'd I really like leaving the first floor having everything intact. So, draw. I was hoping for a power, and we got it. Let's pop a Dex Potion and then play Alchemize. And I think we'll just go hard on the poison early. That seems pretty good to me. This is a good turn. We don't care about Strike. We love Dark Shackles. Let's play uh, Footwork first. It did hit Crippling Cloud. What a world. So Dark Shackles makes you totally screwed. We might as well play Survivor, I guess. But All right, we're, we're in an amazing spot. You couldn't have asked for better draw, basically. This turn, we'll dump a uh, basic defend, and then we'll go the... Oh, oh, oh. We want more poison ASAP. 
All right, so th honestly, I think we're leaving this first floor. We'll dump survivor. Uh, we're leaving this first floor feeling so much better than I expected to. We fought three elites, including the uh, the key elite. And normally, we do not do that as any character. So I would say for right now, we got to be feeling pretty good. Now, just keep in mind for when you go up against... Uh, or for when you're, you're choosing rewards at the end of this. 14 damage. Well, see you later. When you're choosing rewards at the end of this... Um, you wanna choose cards like Corpse Explosion. You wanna choose relics like the Specimen. Anything along these lines helps us out, like, to an incalculable degree. We didn't quite have lethal, so I thought, you know, let's just make sure we take no damage. It's an extremely great fight against this guy, especially considering we didn't rest on the entire floor. Well, we rested after the first elite, but apart from that, it's Ascension Zero. I'm not getting too excited about it, but still. Regen Potion. You have to take Corpse Explosion. You don't even really have to think about it, I think. We don't play that many cards. Nightmare is situational at the best of times, I think, and Corpse Explosion is amazing. Here, uh, I think we'll take Ring of the Snake to get uh, a less draw turn one, more draw every subsequent turn. That's pretty easy. That was a, a really, really good floor. We don't have any extra energy, so that's a problem. But apart from that, feeling good. Um, we have to fight un -elites. I like this middle path. Yeah. Yeah, I think I can live with that. These guys get bodied a little bit by poison, so... I think we'll pop Dex, and then Tools of the Trade will make something else free. It was a defend. We are still going to take damage. Let's pop Alchemize, see if it gives us a way out. It gives us a Footwork, which then hit another defend. So we didn't make a ton of progress there, but we did get four Dex up. And extra energy on the next turn, I forgot about that. Um, for zero to take 10 damage off the field, I think is good. So let's dump a basic defend. Because what we're going to do here is Crippling Cloud, get the poison started on all of them. You're already doing zero damage. I'm not going to play Dark Shackles. Are you out of your mind? Why would I play Dark Shackles now? I'd rather just play a defend. We have the energy anyway. So we still, I mean, there's a couple of things we want. Noxious Fumes is a really nice enabler. We still played zero attacks. What a world. Um... Well, let's see. 9, 14, 9, 23 damage. If we hit you, you oh, you're already weak, so you're not going to start doing 0. In fact, you're all already weak, but we'll still stick with neutralize. 9, 9, 9. Okay, so if we play 3 defense, we're not going to take any damage, so let's dump a basic strike. We're going to screw one up anyway. Like so. We still don't need the Dark Shackles. Like, why, why would we Dark Shackles just to... Just to play the card. It doesn't make sense. Anyway, we need Noxious Fumes. Or would really, really like some Noxious Fumes. Corpse Explosion is huge here. So let's dump uh, probably a Basic Strike. I just want to make sure if we Corpse Explosion you, we can kill you. And I think we can. Please tell me it goes left to right. Beautiful. It's very tempting. If we get something like Envenom, we would like to have a Blade Dance. Choke's a little expensive. Sucker Punch, good at getting the artifacts out, but... Honestly... I don't see the word Poison in any of those, uh... In any of those options, so I say to myself, Self, maybe it's not the right time. We are gonna get hit. Tools of the Trade is gonna make it defend free. You might as well play it. We are going to take 6 damage, but we're going to get uh, 1 extra energy next turn. You always take damage against these guys early. It's the, it's the way of the road, my man. So we should dump a basic... Eh, we might want to dump Alchemize, but we'll dump a basic strike for now. 11 damage. I think we'll go 1, 2, 3, 4. Sixteen damage, huh? Well... 
We'll dump a basic strike. Because there's only two ways we do this. One is corpse explosion. Like, I think here's how we want to do it. I'm going to take six damage. Let's neutralize you. I'm going to take two damage. And then I'm going to commit to making sure you die. Which even still, I look at and I go, that's going to be tough. I got to do like 30 damage CNX. I got to do... Well, I don't think it's possible. But maybe, just maybe, is it worth using the steroid potion to do this? So if I do the steroid potion, I can do 22 damage and you'll die. If I just attack you, it'll be 6, so you'll be at essentially 11. I think, now that I look at it, I'm like, let's play it forward. I hit you for 6. You're at 19 with 8 coming down. I hit you again. You're at 13 with 8 coming down, and then I deadly poison you and you kill... Or you die, and then you leave this guy with 3 HP. No, you kill him. Hold on. Corpse explosion. It's max HP? Oh, because he was... It doesn't take his HP down from his max that much. I'm an idiot. It did 46 damage. I was like, the other guy is 49 HP. Yeah, but you've hit him like six times. Um, I like our potions as is. I would really like some new cards. But I'll tell you what. Keeping the deck thin, you can't complain about that. This guy being weak is extremely positive. So, Dark Shackles, there's no better time than the present to use this. And what, what comes after this? Question mark. I'm not going to pop regen yet. It's a little early. I would like to keep you... Yeah, let's do it like this. There we go. So, we got you weak for three turns. I know next turn you're going to do your debuffs. Never mind. Even better. Okay, so we want to play Footwork for certain. It made Alchemize free. It's not really what I was looking for, to be honest. We don't need to play Corpse Explosion. It's kind of weak here. What I will do is pop Regen, because it's basically... I'm popping it as a block. I know I said I didn't want to pop it, but... Um, 15 damage. I, I would prefer if you didn't make Corpse Explosion free. Thank you. I really appreciate that. So we're going to take one damage... But we're going to, you know, get the regen in there as well. I would like mathematically if that had gone slightly differently, but it's okay. And you know what? Let's, uh, this is a good opportunity for a gambler's brew. A potion that I think we should just pop immediately upon receiving it. And we got a lot of poison in there. <clears throat> 15 damage. Let's get rid of a basic strike. Keeping the... Weakness going. This is totally fine. Um, I will just play three of these. I know we could move the poison ahead, but seems unnecessary. Really, I just like to hit you for seven. Oh, I could apply another six poison. That's a good start. So these fights have gone exceptionally well so far. Still no poison related. I will say, I think heal hook totally works. We apply enough weakness that that's extremely likely to work for us. Well, it hit both the fence. Oh well. We got both of our powers out there early. Dude, Noxious, please. I guess we're kind of relying on a shop to hook us up. Okay, so Crippling Cloud plus Heal Hook gives us something for free. Dark Shackles is pretty much necessary. Um, let's get rid of a basic strike. So we're going to do Crippling Cloud. That's the first step. Then Heal Hook for free. I still think we'll use Dark Shackles now. Because Corpse Explosion is real good. If we can get this guy killed, even if we have to pop the Steroid Potion, Corpse Explosion will kill all of them. So we're at 1 HP down, who cares? So I think we will dump a basic defend. And then I, I just need to do the math. Do I need the pop? We actually might be in more trouble than I thought. Because like even with the Steroid Potion, we have to play Corpse Explosion. It takes you effectively to 19 HP. 19, and then 9, and then 11. My brain is struggling. Okay, let's just think logically first, okay? We pop the steroid potion. Boom. You go down to 20. You go down to 9. It literally exactly kills you. It's almost like the game is designed this way. What a world. 
Lucky us. Well worth the potion. <gasps> I would like some cards, please. So, finally we get a chance to smith. That's good. Corpse Explosion, three extra poisons, not worth much, let's be honest. Tools of the Trade for zero, it gives us an energy refund, that's pretty valuable. Uh, Crippling Cloud, three extra poison, apparently has par for the course. 15 strength is a little much. Neutralize gets a lot better, Alchemize gets a lot better. Um, footwork gets better. I would actually probably start with Footwork. Just because I, it, it's, like, one dex is worth a disproportionate amount, but it doesn't really matter who we use this on. And we're probably just going to pop strength right away. You know, I, I don't foresee a situation in which we find ourselves like, oh, no, I really wish we didn't pop the strength potion on, you know, arguably the worst elite for us. Although, Corpse Explosion will do a ton to these guys. It might take us a little while to get there. So, we will play Footwork. It hit Survivor. That's fine. Tools of the trade, hit defend. I hate it, but life goes on. We're taking no damage this turn. Now, we can attack next turn, but we're pr probably pretty likely to draw Corpse Explosion. And we did. We might as well dump an attack, because we can't play it anyway. So we will Corpse Explosion you, and once you die, you're going to kill everybody. Which is super, like, it's just a real nice move of you. I really appreciate it. And we're not going to pop the Dex Potion. I'm a fool, because we really should have popped Crippling Cloud. I'm just a dumb moron. Um, for some reason, I thought we would have enough energy. That doesn't even make sense. Took more damage than we needed to, but we were going to take damage no matter what. <clears throat> you need to get hit for 17. It's extremely simple. You guys are going to live, though. So we're actually going to dump Crippling Cloud, so hopefully we can play Survivor. We're definitely going to be able to play Survivor. And then you will... You will die. You won't yet. So we lost way more HP than I would like here. But, life goes on. Juzu Bracelet? Hmm, I don't know. We got Noxious. Okay, all's forgiven. No combat, please. Find some potions. Block, very useful. Uh, energy is decent. Straight up. Hold on, who's our boss? I think we don't need thorns, even though it bothers me to get rid of it. And I'll take ghost in a jar instead. Dreamcatcher. Not what I want, but at the same time, we are going to rest. Get back to full HP. You know, we got Bane. I think it's totally worth it. We do want to upgrade Noxious now that we got it. You not starting weak is a slap in the face. So, Sneko Eye is potentially pretty dangerous for us, but we'll see. Right off the bat, neutralize, dark shackles, super helpful. That didn't seem like a bad turn. Eight damage. Dude, excuse me, first off, we don't want a three energy alchemize, that's comical. Six damage. Start here. Oh! I love it. We're taking zero damage. I would have liked to have played Bane, but, you know, you can't complain about a turn where you take zero damage like that. Here, um, I mean, we're never going to play a three energy defend. It's just, it's just highly bad. So, instead, we will play Corpse Explosion for six poison and dump on you like so. <clears throat> Twelve damage. We're never going to play a three energy neutralize. It's just horrible. I don't want to play a 2 energy alchemize either. I mean, if we want to not take any damage, we have to use all of our energy right now. Am I okay with that? I am. Or, alternatively, what it does here is we don't have to play alchemize, but instead we could be like, okay, hit him hard. And then, I mean, we could strike him, but actually, you probably do want to play alchemize. And you had extra energy because I'd want to go back, please. 22 damage. Now we're, now we're cooking. That's dangerous. Never gonna play a two energy basic strike. That's just sad. You need to take nine damage. It's actually very easy. <sighs> Still easy? Okay. Good fights. Good fights. No poison related cards. Do we need another tools of the trade? My head says why not? You know what? I think we I think we're gonna go fight the elite. I don't think we need Ritual Dagger, it's a little late. We have 700 gold. 
We could actually afford to take Sozu now. That doesn't happen very much. Okay, so we got two tools of the trade out there. Um, there's no sincere point to Bane here. Does he add a wound to my deck? Doesn't matter. We got the 30 block, mostly because of the speed potion. He only adds a wound if he hits you, I think. Okay, so what do we not want out here? We could just get... Well, let's use Dark Shackles. So what are we not going to play? We're never going to play a defend in that situation. Easy. Oh, we have to get rid of two. Corpus Explosion is... I, I think I'd rather play it later and get the weakness out early. Okay, so here's how you do it. Use Noxious early. Hope to hit Crippling Cloud. Totally did it. Good work. We, we don't have to Dark Shackles him necessarily. Let's see what we draw. Adrenaline Bullet Time Doppelganger. We'll do Adrenaline even though it exhausts. Okay, so we will play Dark Shackles to take zero damage. It's a pretty good turn. We got up on him really nicely. What are we not going to play? At this point, Strikes are not as good as Bane, so it's an easy choice. Footwork hits Bane. Heal Hook, Energy plus Draw. 15 damage, though. So, we'll keep it cool. This is the enemy we wanted to fight because we're so good at propelling weakness forward. So he's doing 12 damage. Cute. Corpus Explosion doesn't have to be played against this guy. At some point, he's going to get pretty nasty. But he might die before that happens. The real pain in the butt right now is having to use two blocks every turn. But at least we have enough zero-cost attacks to keep it going. Dude, this is a huge neutralize. 16 damage. Alright, I don't know if we have him next turn, but we're going to be close for certain. A very, very, very good fight. And again, I feel like I'm happy my aggression is being rewarded. Oftentimes, I'm a little scared to fight elites. Not this time. Another Noxious, no question. I will say, you know, that you look at Dexterity and you, you think that's a good choice as well. No question. A lot of no questions here. I'm not even worried about draw, because the only thing that's bad about power is that heal you and give you uh, another card for free. At, at least from an energy standpoint. Is that, um, you know, they, they do take up space in your hand. But... Because of Ring of the Serpent, I feel like that's not that big of a deal. Oh, uh, two cards, that's right. Let's dump Bane for now, he's not poisoned yet. We have to play Noxious. This will hit Deadly Poison or Defend. It hit Defend, which I think is fine. Um, six, six, six. We'll take damage. Pop this then. And we'll go, you know, you know, 14, 21 damage. We're set, and he's going to start to take Poison. Alchemize has actually been a super useful card for us as well. Now... We'll probably dump Survivor. And the question is, are we going to play Crippling Cloud or Corpse Explosion? Let's play Crippling Cloud. Yeah, we're starting to get there. We want Crippling Cloud for the extra weakness. Just makes it substantially less likely we're going to take damage. And you know the deal now. We get rid of basic strikes. We play Poisons. He's dead in two turns. Literally cannot hit us. Dude, this run is working. Is it gonna work against the boss? I got no clue. Genuinely. Have no idea. So far, it's looking pretty good. What's our relic? That is not an elite. That is not an elite enemy. I will take a backflip. We haven't added, like, an overpowered... Uh, uh, an overpowered block in quite some time. Okay. Footwork. Hit heel hook. Tools of the trade. We are going to play both defense, so we don't need to play anything else. Tell you straight up. We're going to pop our strength potion as well. What are we not going to play? We're going to keep our energy potion, so we might play a lot of this, actually. Um, I'm going to say that we're not going to play... A defend. Noxious did not hit Crippling Cloud. Nine 
9 damage. Well, it doesn't matter then. Let's play both of them. I am going to pop the Strength Potion as well, though. So we got it started. Now we're looking for, like, zero-cost attacks, heal hooks, etc., etc., to get through there. The more poison, the merrier, and get these Noxiouses out as early as possible. Corpse Explosion doesn't have to be played. Yet. 18 damage. So we'll start, um... You know what? We'll start with Draw. This is, like, the worst card we could have drawn. But we know if we play Backflip, we're going to get Dark Shackles. Do we want to play Dark Shackles? Yes, because we have literally no block in hand. Except for the one we already played. So start Noxious. Hit Strike. Tools of the Trade. Hit Strike. <laughs> I don't really want to use the Draw Potion here. Go ahead, hit me for one. What do I care? It's a good sign, I think, that we're so rattled about getting hit for one damage. Now, we could play Corpse Explosion here, but I think we can do better things with that energy. So we really want to keep weakness going as long as possible. That'll do, though. 21 damage per turn is no joke. Keep in mind, he is going to purge it at some point. And we don't need all these defends. But we don't need... Heal hook. I mean, well, if we're gonna get rid of heal, we might as well get rid of strike, which is actually just worse. But like this, okay. Easy enough, dude. If we get an energy relic, it's uh, our economy is set. I can't believe we're getting this much value out of three energy right now. Twenty-four damage is no joke. We're definitely gonna keep neutralize. We're definitely gonna keep flash of steel. So we're probably gonna dump two strikes. That's easy enough. Eighteen damage. Can't get there yet. Can get there. I didn't want to crunch the numbers because I'm an idiot, but I think by giving you 41 poison, you're going to move over one turn faster. Maybe not. Maybe I'm in. Maybe I'm a fool. This turn, very easy, very good. Really, just trying to. You know, get as much HP down as possible. I think you are going to take another 45, which is lovely. And we might as well dump defense here as well. Move it forward. Because you have block, we'd rather just apply poison directly. Yes, yeah, so you're going to be at 72 HP. Certainly, I think at this point, we have nothing to worry about. You're doing 32 damage. Um, let's dump a strike and a defend. We should, we should have dumped corpse explosion, probably. Um, but you're only doing 24 damage. There's actually no concern. Now, the poison's gonna take a little while to get up there, but, you know, that's the advantage of two doubled Noxiouses, or two upgraded Noxiouses, I should say. Get rid of a, get rid of a strike and a deadly poison. Get you 22 damage. Throw a backflip out, neutralize you again. Survivor doesn't quite get us there, so, you know, just for bragging rights. I'm going to continue to stay at the magical number. Get rid of Corpse Explosion and a basic... Def He's so screwed. I wanted to be clear, by the way, nobody is more stunned than me that for some reason I'm okay as the Silent now. Wraith form is very interesting. Obviously, it's a power. It's going to be a dead card for a lot of our draws, but I, I think we have to take it and probably upgrade it. It seems it seems good enough. Um, no longer Smith at Rest Sites. Hmm. You know, I think our deck can do it. I don't, I mean, Hovering Kite I think is really bad right now, even with the extra draw. Although we get we do get to choose what to discard, but still... I, I don't think this... I think I'd rather have Fusion Hammer and have more options. And Tiny House is just, you know, not very good. So, Fusion Hammer is a big ask, but I'm okay with it. We're only playing a few powers. I'm not that worried about this guy. What we do want to do on this floor, without a doubt, is hit a shop or two. And there is a two-shop path that I, I quite like the look of. Um, we really... Here's... I see some good stuff for us. If we get Panacea, play that. Play Wraith Form afterwards. Bob's your uncle. We're loving life. 
This is a 23 damage turn. We'll try to mitigate that. Heal hook is free. That means it could be an energy refund. Alchemize is free. Uh, I'm going to draw and hope to get neutralized. Didn't work, but hey. Dark Shackles. We might as well use it on you. Only 14 damage now. Okay, now Corpse Explosion is free. I'm still going to use it on you, even though you guys have more max HP. I'm going to draw and also block. Now we decide. And you know what I've decided is I'm okay taking six damage because we're gonna play more powers anyway. I don't wanna use uh I don't wanna use our intangibility potion. I think it's way more valuable than that. With nine damage, we can definitely dump a defend. And then probably a deadly poison, because this well, we only have to dump one. Dump defend, because we're gonna kill this guy anyway. So hit tools of the trait, it hits crippling cloud, that's amazing. You only need to take two more damage, so we'll hit you with one of... Uh, well, we'll hit you with this. because And, and actually this anyway, because we don't want to attack any other units. And I think... Yeah, you guys are both dead. As long as I can hit you for one. And now we're just going to heal. So get rid of Bane. Get rid of Survivor. It's pretty easy. That's a heal. That's a heal. And you're all dead. Poison. It's nice. I think I'm I'm happy with my setup, though. Dude, I will take another footwork. I know it's making things rougher on the Awakened one. I think it's making them way better on everything that comes after that. 17 damage on this turn. Okay, step one. Free strike. Just terrible. We, we'd still like to remove some more cards. Keep in mind, we have almost 1,000 gold. Okay, we have to play Corpse Explosion. So you know what? It's blocking 12 damage. I don't think we need to block 12 damage. Like, I don't think we need to play intangibility for that. I still think you save it. Don't get greedy here. You're in such a good position. So neutralize, draw, footwork, hits tools of the trade, hits noxious, hits strike. <laughs> I am going to use my explosion potion to get you down. You know what? At this point, now we're blocking like 30 damage. I will pop it. And even though we used it immediately after, I'm glad we didn't pop it right away. Doesn't really matter what we drop, because you are all super dead. Just super duper dead. Wish we could play that. Could have done it if we played our cards slightly differently, but that's okay. Everything's still fine. Prepared is great if we can upgrade it, but we can't. So we're going to stay away. I will fight you. Aggression has served me very well so far. I think this deck gets good quickly. We're basically trying to run out the clock and get Corpse Explosion as quickly as possible. Corpse Explosion just kills them all. That's going to cost us something to play it in the first place, but that's okay. Wraith Form. Probably definitely want to play it. We'd expect these guys to be dead pretty quickly. I know that seems a little aggressive. But I, I truly believe it. We only get two turns of intangibility. So things are going to get a little spotty after that. Um, what do we not want to play? Probably a basic defend at this point. Footwork. Corpse Explosion is still... It, it's taking up space at the bottom of our deck. We're going to have to deal with at least one, maybe two turns of them being truly annoying. Because like now they're starting to hit us real hard. Um, there's Corpse Explosion. I've got a few burns in the deck. Not sure if you've noticed. So, there's no doubt we have to play Corpse Explosion. Following that, it's a lot of damage, no question. You were already weak, weren't you? No, you weren't, okay. I don't feel as bad then. He's dead next turn. So what, you take 11 damage? 11 damage and a potion to get a relic is a, is a good return on investment in my world. And I'm just looking, I'm like, do we have any more powers? I don't think so. Fossilized Helix. It's extremely good. Nah, nah, nah. 
I don't know if it's that good against uh, against our final boss, but so be it, right? So we don't play Wraith form. In fact, we might be in a super weird position here where we might never play an attack on this guy. I mean, we're probably realistically going to play a neutralize if, if everybody's being honest with one another. But we don't have to. Like, I'm kind of content to just let him, you know, do what he's doing. Unless it's really bad. Like, this is pretty bad. Let's backflip so we can get a, a good refund. 27 damage. That's a lot. We gotta try to punch through it. Okay, so we're gonna use our, our or sorry, our artifact for 3 damage. That sucks. This is a good turn, potentially, though. We have no way of weakening him. So it is maybe tempting to drop heal hook, but it's also a free way to reshuffle him. So I, it's a shame, because I like all this. We definitely have to keep Dark Shackles. I guess we'll dump Alchemize, even though it pains me a great deal to do it. Okay. We learned something there. Poison very, very slowly getting to him. Do we want to pop Wraith for him? <laughs> I don't think we're going to kill him fast enough to make Wraith form work. But you know what? Let's keep it just in case. And dump two basics. Four energy. Two. No. Like that, I think. 18 damage. Now we're cooking. That's fine. And I know you're like, play Bane. I, I don't want to because I'm already taking no damage. If I'm taking no damage on a turn, I don't want to mess with that. So heal hook is free here. That's very good. We'll just dump two basic strikes. Like, don't be ridiculous. So we're not shuffling him. Can we get the 18 block very easily? I would rather apply it. No, I, you know what? Let's. We're not doing anything else with our energy. We might as well apply six poison, even though it costs twice as much as five poison. You know what we need that we haven't had yet? This is going to be an obvious answer, by the way. Catalyst? Apparently, that card has stopped existing. But I'm telling you, we get, we're going to have a thousand gold. We go to our shop. We can refit our deck however we see fit. I don't think we need another Tools of the Trade. Honestly, it's kind of annoying me to have to play them to begin with. Receive 2 Madness, lose 9 HP. Become Cursed, heal for 18. We'll receive Madness. They can't be upgraded, which is bad, but... Well, they, it's not easy to upgrade them. We can no longer Smith. Resting does allow us to add a card. I think another Bane is fine. Recognize we're getting a very thick deck right now. Okay. What do we like? Certainly, extra dex is just nice. And then we will probably pull a basic strike, which is a nearly useless card. We don't play three attacks too often, but we have so much gold that I think, why not? I also think another footwork runs the risk of being comical, but is potentially very good. Okay, now we don't exhaust too many cards. Crippling Cloud, Alchemize. That's it. Well, and Madness. You know what? For 200 gold, I'm willing to do that. We'd love to see Crippling Cloud and Madness again. We still have 224 gold. That's more than enough to have a very useful shop. This guy strikes me as a real pain in the D. Uh, this is not the enemy we want to fight. We're never going to see Dark Shackles again. Might as well play it. It didn't exhaust. That's great news. Maybe it will come back. So turn one. We used a lot of resources to keep ourselves in this. I think that's fine. We want to hit him. Hits are better than... Well, actually... Blocks are better than hits still. So we do want to dump this and probably this. Well, we only dump one, so that's easy. Alright. Start. Footwork. Noxious is unlikely to pay off. But it does make our two Banes a lot better. 
And it turns out there's no reason not to play it anyway. Even if I weaken you, you're gonna hit me, so I gotta... I might as well take the hit. Okay, Survivor's very good. There's a lot of great stuff here. Bane is lovely. We probably don't need Alchemize. Corpse Explosion also probably won't be played, but... You know, so Bane is like 14 block. You gotta get that out there. Mind you, Survivor's 15 block, so it's not as easy of a choice as it often seems like it is. Um... So you can play Tools of the Trade and hope that it hits Survivor Defend, but it might hit Corpse Explosion. I would rather just play this, um, knowing that my dude is going to take another 8 damage, we're going to take 0. Just It's very delicate, but we're getting there. Crippling Cloud is probably worth playing. Our basic strikes are not worth playing. So start here, and then this. Okay, Crippling Cloud is free, it's exactly what we wanted. Madness didn't exhaust. We're going to take one damage. We're going to take five damage. There's only one turn left. We might as it doesn't matter. Get rid of whatever you want. Everything's okay. I it, it intimidates me a lot by the way to have a 30 card deck, but how can you say no to this right now? I don't think we want shivs. I don't think we... Uh, dodge and roll with enough decks is kind of interesting. Bronze scales is huge. We get another shop. Okay, this is one where you got to think very carefully. Hey, if only I had 34 more gold. The specimen is not going to help us on the final boss, but it would be good to begin with. I think... Hear me out here. Shh, it's a little spooky. I think we... Use money here and then skip our next shop to fight this elite and get one more relic. Obviously, this is nearly useless. You know what? No, that's stupid. I don't like anything here except the specimen anyway. Sure, we could remove a card. We can remove a card at our other shop as well. Get out of here. What do you got for me? We don't shuffle our discard pile that often. Flechettes has a, a real temptation. Welling Plans is just beautiful, though. And then... Maybe we'd like to upgrade two randoms? We can only... I, give me an upgrade. I'm ready. We got Corpse Explosion and Madness. I'm a happy man. Bouncing Flask. Why not? It is poison related. It's good against a single target. Yes, we have a 31 card deck. Uh, but every card is gas. 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 Is that a song? I don't know. It sounded like a song. No, no, no. So, Well Laid Plans allows us to hold on to Wraith Form. That's why it's a huge buy, I think. Might as well. Why not, right? Thank God for the fossilized helix. I do wish Well Laid Plans was, you know... Upgraded, but hey being able to keep one extra card per turn is worth it by itself. I think dude Okay, so I haven't really talked too 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 much about the final boss here. I Actually think we've got a surprisingly good chance Maybe it's not surprising at all But we have been extremely confident for a long long time Like the deck is just working didn't exhaust. Why play it? You know why we played it? Because I forgot that we had well laid plans. That's why we played it. We will probably here dump Corpse Explosion and Bouncing Flask. Because you're we need to block this turn. Draw neutralize, look a Wraith Form also great. You're it, this is the thing. As soon as you get Wraith Form, you're like, you can't hurt me. You're going to die in two turns anyway. So that's what we want, is basically to hold on to that until the relevant time. Or just draw it, which is what we did right there. Didn't exhaust. Like, I, I have no guaranteed confidence, obviously, that we're going to beat this final boss. But for now, it, it seems to be getting the job done. Long video, immediately travel to the boss. Why not? 
we skip one combat and the opportunity to rest and add one card that I don't think I want anyway. So this guy, he's going to be a bit of a problem because of the fact that we play a decent chunk of powers in this deck, but the powers are worth more to me than they are to him, I think. We are going to... Well, we're not going to get hit on turn one. We're going to lose our artifact, which is... I don't want to say arguably worse, but not necessarily good. And as usual, we'll pop our... Uh, our strength potion lasts like a dummy. Okay. Nobody's weak. I know you're like weak in this guy. That's a really good idea. It's like a really, really good idea. Yeah, let's do that. Did exhaust. Seven. We are going to get hit, but not for much. Now, we're waiting on a Corpse Explosion to come around here. The dream scenario is Corpse Explosion, this guy, that's 50 damage. Okay, and that's is going to happen. Um, and then, draw Corpse Explosion again, like, immediately after. Use it on... Well, he's going to die anyway. We still want to use it on you, though. It's 50 damage to all enemies. Nothing to sneeze at. All right, I mean, we got where we needed to go. We're just going to store Wraith Form until it's strictly necessary. We, we don't want to play Wraith Form to block damage. We want to play Wraith Form to keep us alive. This is a weird one. Um, okay, well, uh, he's going to get a little strong. I still think it's the right call. You're going to have to go a long way to convince me it's not the right call. Sorry, goodbye, uh, Wraith Form. To be fair, we didn't really need you right away, but still hurts a little. Dark Shackles is just disgusting here, so we'll dump, like, Survivor. Alchemize? We can just play Alchemize later. Beautiful. Madness didn't exhaust. We could have done that differently to get a free Noxious, but... So he is, uh... I mean, he's 8 strength up. That's no joke. We definitely want to keep Wraith form. I think what we don't care about right now is Deadly Poison. Probably Corpse Explosion. Yeah, probably Corpse Explosion. Because we'd like to apply as much weakness as possible. So there you go. Yep, yep, yep. Didn't exhaust, which is beautiful. And then store Wraith form. What a wonderful world. Definitely strikes are bad. Really, we have to remember, like, you might be shaking your head that your boy is dumping Banes. But, what do I care, right? Ornamental Fan has been largely useless, by the way. Like, what do I care about dumping a Bane? As long as we can defend and Noxious is still, you know, applying that poison, that's what I care about. So this turn is very critical. We want to make sure we kill you. We still want to dump a strike because it sucks. And we're going to dump a... We're going to keep Corpse Explosion and dump Crippling Cloud just in case that's the difference maker. So Wraith Form is free. But only for this turn. Are we going to kill you? I don't believe we're going to kill you this turn. It's still not worth Wraith Form. I'd rather take the damage now and get value out of it later. So, uh, I mean, Survivor Defend Alchemize is the way I look at this right now. And we're going to hope for the best here. Well, we did... get to enough block, which makes me feel totally okay about giving up Wraith Form temporarily. We got two turns to draw it again. We don't need any defense. Mind you, it doesn't really matter what we play. Got one. I was hoping maybe it would pay 300 damage over. That doesn't make any sense, though. It would be cool. So we should be drawing Wraith Form. Uh, we didn't, so I'm, I clearly don't know what's happening. Uh, we are going to weaken you, so Heal Hook will be free. So let's dump a Strike and a Strike. I think that's totally fine. So Crippling Cloud didn't exhaust. We got two free defends, which is insanely nice. And we'll just hit you with that Bane, and we'll hold a Defend. 
We have not... I mean, we have taken damage here, but we've played powers to get over it, so... Um, we definitely want to keep Wraith form. Bouncing Flask is just a little bit too expensive. I wish it weren't so. Beautiful. Um, dude... I'm totally fine with that crippling cloud coming out there again. And we'll just defend. We got him. He can't do anything. It's been the longest Slay the Spire video in history. But it's been also like the calmest Slay the Spire video in history. Like everything is just hunky-dory. We're getting a ton of value out of what I would describe as a, a thick deck. And mind you, a lot of the cards in our deck exhaust. Okay, so we're going to have less energy this turn because of the... Well, never mind. As long as we can dump the voids every turn, what do we care about dumping them now? We'll just dump them forever. Oh, we still lost the energy, so we definitely should have kept them in hand. Turns out, I'm an idiot. Um, we can only play... Well, we can only play two energy worth of cards. Hilariously, still enough to keep us in the game. And by keep us in the game, I mean literally take no damage at all. Um, again, we don't really care about Corpse Explosion or Bouncing Flash. They're just a little too slow, I think. We need to get to... Okay, we lost. Just a little bit there. It's okay, because we get to dump the Void anyway. It will exhaust. We make up for our earlier mistakes. And at this point, mathematically, we might as well play Wraith Form and then just hit as much as possible. So dump your defense. That hurts. Only slightly, but... Oh, we got him. Easy. Okay, um, well, either way, I classify this video as a success. The problem now becomes... What are we gonna do on the next floor? I'll tell you one thing. We, we don't get too many opportunities to improve ourselves. So we're going to add a card. Potentially. Nah. I mean, okay, I'll take Piercing Whale Plus. Because this guy does so many, like, low damage, high quantity attacks. You can't afford literally anything, so that's easy enough. And this is where things are going to get a little hot. At least we don't have Runic Dome this time. Haha. -ha. We'd love to save our potions for the boss fight. A free Alchemize coming back later is a dream come true. The real value here... Is in oh we get to keep it too. The real value here is in being able to uh, not use our artifact or sorry our buffer, even though it did cost us more energy than we probably like to have spent. So this is a weird one. Usually we would probably like to play Crippling Cloud. I worry about Wraith Form, but I also think, dude, I mean if we could take advantage of it early, maybe it's worth it, and we could just get one of them killed. So we'll keep Wraith Form Footwork and Crippling Cloud. How's that gonna work? Anyway, we're going to dump a basic defense. Or actually, we're probably going to dump Deadly Poison, just in case. How are we going to do this? Well, you would probably start here and hope for the best. It didn't hit the right thing. Please hit Crippling Cloud. It did. Okay. So that weakness is going to be something we rely on. As it, I mean, really, we need to get a Corpse Explosion out there and, and hit anybody. Probably hit the one most likely to die. What do we not want to see? We definitely want Noxious. We'll probably dump a Tools of the Trade. So, can I just point out we have no defense, so we need to play three attacks? We don't have three attacks. Wow, that's a sincere bummer. Okay. So we are going to lose our artifact. We drew too many powers. Who would have thought? Yeah, what can you do? Um, I'm expecting you to do a big attack next turn, so let's do it like this. In fact, we're not just going to lose Artifact, we're going to lose like 2 HP. Wouldn't describe it as a big attack, but... We know Corpse Explosion's coming, so we're focusing one. Who we focus? This guy's got one block. That's probably your best bet. Okay, use your brain. Good play. Plays continue to be good. 
Not Corpse Explosion. I can't help but notice you appear to not be granting me the Exploder of Corpses. That's a nasty turn. You gotta go. And we gotta face you. You're only doing 36 damage. I know that's a big only, but like, it's actually not that bad. Oh my god. Okay, so Piercing Whale was an insanely good draw. As a result, we're taking no damage. We'll store Bouncing Flask. Once this guy dies, it's over. And we're actually at full HP, which is blowing my mind. Please stop attacking. Dark Shackles is very important here. We're probably going to dump Basic Strike. Okay. Dark Shackles, use it right there. You're doing 54 damage still. Never mind, you're doing 27. Life is but a dream. You're dead in two turns. If we just block, we're happy, we're happy boys. We are going to be hit. Not for much, but for seven. Dude, I think we have a chance here. All right, so you're already dead. Ideally, we would play powers. One power is not amazing, but so be it. You're you're super dead. So just It turns out this was probably not that necessary cuz you are also pretty close to death yourself. We are also an idiot and we're going to take two damage we didn't have to take, but you know, it's the kind of damage you hope is not really relevant. And we got thorns for the boss. Times 2 really. Gremlin horn literally useless. Predator tempting, but okay, here we go. I'm very happy to have Noxious early. Probably we should play defend, huh? And no need to play madness. We also get extra energy next turn, which is quite nice. But we do have a bunch of garbage in our deck. 60 damage. Great turn for Wraith form, although it's also a little early. Are we okay with that? Well, what are the alternatives? It would be we have no blocks. We are okay with it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're okay with it. Um, so dump a piercing whale. We don't need it this turn. We'll we'll take whatever damage we're gonna take from playing the cards. It didn't exhaust. That's great news. You know what? It sounds crazy. Let's get rid of the days for good and just see if we draw something else. Dope, oh, beautiful card. Now, we're happy to lose the days. Get out of here. All right, so now we got our work cut out for us. This is going to hurt him more than it hurts me. I promise you that. We want to keep the void in our deck. What do we not need? We would like the defend, to be fair. So I think we'll dump uh, probably just a Bane. Ah, uh, and a Corpse Explosion, perhaps. Actually... I mean, I guess I, it doesn't really matter. Let's be honest. So, uh, footwork, free defend. I, I I don't really think it matters when we play it. Didn't exhaust. Let's do it like this. We are still going to take a little damage. But he's going to take a lot. All right, so our intangibility has run out. This is where things are going to get real scary. Um... See you in heck. Right, defense first. I don't know how many times I have to explain it to myself. Noxious has to go out there. That's really good. Dark Shackles is a card we're going to want to save without a doubt. I don't know what we thought we were doing by playing those. Hold on. We know what turn we want to use Dark Shackles on. It's not this turn if we can avoid it. He's still weak. Okay, so defense first. Very nice. Heal hook. Alchemize, no longer free, unfortunately, but hey. Six set. Fair enough. Well worth it. I know it seems like I'm moving the goalposts a little bit, but I think it's well worth it. I think on this turn you accept taking damage, you save Dark Shackles for later. We want to use that on the turn where he's going to hit us like 20 times. This one right here, if we can't get around it. So blocks first. Let's see if we can get around it first. So he's doing 36. Not really that bad. So we take 23 damage. 
I honestly, and this is a is a tough call. I feel like we don't use it here and we save it for when he gets stronger. I know. I this is where this will decide the run, I think. Whether that was a right decision or a wrong decision. So we need to I mean obviously we're dumping that. And at this point we might as well probably dump a uh, a defend. We need to We know his next turn is going to be bad, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So what do we want to do? If we could weaken him for his next turn, which we just did, that's huge. He probably would play defend first. Another Thorns Potion, extremely nice. You're going to hit him, it doesn't really matter, and you're going to store this Dark Shackles. You know that next turn he's going to hit for like 80. No, he's doing 4 times 12. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. We have no defense. Easy enough. And then you just decide. You know, he's doing two damage per card. I don't think any of these cards are worth me taking two damage at this point. Just too scary. We'll store a... Uh, probably a neutralize is the best savior for us. He's about to take like 90-something damage. And then he's going to do 44 damage immediately after that. Very scary, of course. So we're just going to try to keep ourselves alive or alternatively kill him. Step one, you play a defense. Weaken, 33 damage. Now we're cooking. Heal hook into a madness. Free survivor and didn't exhaust. We're actually... We're not going to die. Don't poison him. <laughs> we're very close to death because of our earlier wraith form. He's dead! He cannot kill us unless we play ourselves into oblivion. We should have the opportunity to play some cards. We might as well stack up some more poison, I guess. Um, lovely. Okay, just keep piercing whale, I don't know, just in case is what I'm saying in my head. Dude, it's a, a 75 minute long run, but we are going to win. And you know what's funny about it is we're actually going to win easily. My dude's doing no damage. You know what? Then perish. Hoo! <laughs> baby! That's how you start the day when it comes to Slay the Spire. Yet another silent victory for some reason. We're good. Hope you've enjoyed the episode. If you did click the like button, it helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. And I, on this run, all I do is I go back to like our third combat and I think to myself, self, thank you. Thank you for picking up deadly poison. We only ever got one of them and that's all we needed. Follow me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Northern Line to be notified when we go live in the future. But for now, thanks for watching. I will see you next time. See ya!